Hello, everyone. I hope all of you are doing great. First of all, I'm really, really, really sorry. Massive apologies from my side for being so late. And the only reason was none other than the ACCA itself. So before we start, before we officially start, first of all, can I have confirmation from your side? Am I absolutely crystal clear, especially with respect to voice quality? Okay, thank you very, very much for the confirmation, Babar and was Haris, Saber, everyone. Thank you very much. Okay, normally I am pretty decent when it comes to the punctuality with respect to the live classes, the weekly live classes, let alone the orientation session. Obviously, the orientation session is something where we, uh, we have to be a little more punctual. But I was stuck in an event. Where, well, that event was from ACCA itself. And it was something very important for me. So, um, you know, I wanted to cut it off, but I couldn't. So I just wanted to show you off. So this was a token of appreciation presented to me by ACCA, uh, considering the great results. So as a result of that, it was not possible for me to, you know, uh, considering I was there, so it was not possible for me to, you know, run away without any disclosure and without informing anyone why I'm going. Well, I told my peers that I have got a class, a very important class, and I have to be, I have to be there. But unfortunately, because of this, I had to wait for my turn, and then finally, I am back. So let's assume we are late. But let's be optimistic that we are late and it's it's better to be late than never. So let's make the best out of this session. Let's be aggressive. Okay, so I have to be the host. Give me a minute, please. Okay, so here we go. I am the host now. Okay, so the boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, today is what? Monday, 11th December, 2023. And you have got exam on 4th March 2024. So happy new year in advance. And if you had a bad year for any, for any reason, controllable or otherwise, well, let's create a cutoff and let's make sure that year 2024 is going to be a wonderful year for us. It's going to be a great year in terms of ACCA exam and the journey towards the glory, a journey towards the membership. Yes, the event which I just attended, it again emphasized the fact that ACCA affiliation is no big deal. The real goal is to be an ACCA member. So yeah, uh, if you really want to have year 2024 as a great year, I think if that has to happen, you have to have a great start. And when I say great start, the great start has to start now. Okay, so on your screen right now, audit and assurance and one of the most important day that is going to be 4th March, Monday, 4th March, 2024. If you want to nail the paper, first of all, submit your exam fee as soon as possible. I would say even before paying the fee to WIFI, for the sake of double A badge, go on and submit your exam fee and, and then we'll rock it. Then we'll have a huge difference in the attitude and in the perception. Okay, on your screen right now, you have got a couple of very important numbers. The first one, which ends up with 065, it belongs to me. And this is the number which I use uh, on the WhatsApp as well. So you're more than welcome to contact me if you've got any concern or confusion or anything. If you want to discuss the paper combination, if you want to discuss anything in relation to AA, AAA, anything in relation to ACCA, you are always, always, always more than welcome. The second number is a very important number as well, and it belongs to WIFI. And that number is the number which you need to use for the sake of correspondence, for the sake of admission. So if you've got any queries, if you want to enroll, you just have to use WhatsApp and you have to contact them. Okay, now what? Okay, so, you know, uh, 
considering the fact that you are studying double A right now, and this is not the triple A orientation session. So I would like to introduce, and I would like to highlight something about myself. Well, my name is Ahmed, and I am teaching double A and triple A at WIFI. So I've got both batches, double A English and double A Hindi Urdu batch, along with that triple A English and triple A Hindi Urdu language batches as well. Mind you, WIFI is an approved gold online ALP. ALP stands for Approved Learning Partner. Who approves it? The ACC itself. So WIFI is a gold online ALP and that accreditation and that recognition is by the ACCA itself, not by the local ACCA body. Rather, global recognition is with WIFI. Well, I have been honored and I was privileged and I was blessed because the results, you know, they speak for themselves. And as a result of that, uh, ACCA uh, contacted me and I was honored to conduct ACCA's official practice to pass webinar for both double A and triple A. In fact, I conducted five ACCA's official practice to pass webinar other than WIFI's Game Changer webinars. Okay, then what? Well, in the recent past, I had distinction in double A, in triple A, again in double A, double A, triple A, triple A. So yeah, I am trying my level best and every session I'm learning new things, I'm delivering new things. Every session I'm trying to improve. I'm in every session, I'm trying to be a better, better, better tutor. So for this session, I'm super aggressive, just like you. This is going to be a session, the first session of the year 2024. So I would like to make sure that I start with a, you know, with great energy and enthusiasm. And I will try to improve a lot more when it comes to AA, though AA is a very straightforward paper with respect to students and with respect to teachers as well. What about the pass rate of AA? Okay, what about the pass rates of AA? Okay, before we move on to the pass rates of AA, the pass rates which I am about to discuss with you are going to be the global pass rates. Now, before we discuss the pass rates of AA, Barber and everyone out there, can I have a question from you? What is the global pass rate for the last four to five years or for the last four to five attempts? Let it be for the last one year or let it be for the last four to five years. For the paper FR, global pass rate on an average, on an average, what is the global pass rate for the paper FR? Anyone out there? And one number. Is there anyone who is familiar with the global pass rate? Hamad Ali is saying 40%. No, 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 no. Mr. Adi, 50. Yes. Harith, 50. Yes. Divya, 49. Absolutely. Yes. Jobia, 50. Yes. Not exactly 60%. 50, 51, 52, 49. Okay, okay. Question number two. Question number two. Question number two. For the last couple of years, for the last four years, for the last one year or so, what is the global pass rate for the paper that? Yes, 50. Yes, 50, 51, sometimes 52, sometimes it drops down to 49. Okay. Okay, next question. Well done. Well done. Yes, Zoha, you are, you're right. Sometimes it touches to 53 as well, but Sometimes it comes down to 49. So if I have to take an average number, I will say, okay, 50. Okay. Another question. Maybe the last question. What is the global pass rate for the last year or so, for the last two years, for the paper FM, financial management? We used to call it F9. 50, 51, 52, 49. Yes, Divya, Hamad, absolutely correct. Well done. Yes, Harith, Harith, your messages are direct messages, not, they are unable to be, you know, nobody is able to see it, make it public, make it for everyone. Okay. Thank you, Harith. So, now let's, okay, what's the learning outcome or what's the conclusion? Tax, FRFM, 
all three are somewhere over and above 50%. You know what? The same percentage is applicable to the professional papers such as SBR and SBL. Both are 50 or 51. SBR and SBL are on an average 50%. So FR, SBR, tax, FM, SBL, all are 50%. Got the point? Now let's have a discussion on the pass rate of AA. So September 21, 39%. December 21, 38%. Then it jumped up to 44% in March 2022. But then it dropped down to 39%. Then 44%. Then 40%. Then 44%. Then 45%. And now for the September 2023, it was again down to 42%. So if I have to take an average number, Considering the fact there is 39, 38 as well. Again, there is 39. I would go for 40, 41%. Am I correct? 40, 41% on an average. 40%. Let's call. Let's make it round. 40%. So if FR, tax, FM are 50 or over and above 50, but AA is at 40, there is a huge gap of 10%. And you've got to understand that this gap deserves some respect. And if we are going to give respect for the next 80 or days, trust me on that, on the exam day, on 4th March 2023, when you will come out of your exam center, you will send me a text on WhatsApp or a voice note or a message and you will say these words, Sir, I'm done with my paper and, and by the grace of God, Everything which we studied during the classes, everything which you tested in the mock exam, everything which we discussed, sir, absolutely same to same came up in the exam. And I'm dead sure about my result. And I'm, now I'm thinking about what should I attempt in the June 2024 attempt. This is going to be your feedback. And you know what? This feedback is going to motivate me. This feedback is going to make me happy. But trust me on that this feedback is not going to give me a shock because I am, I am used to it. And for, for that has to happen, we have to work harder. And if we will work harder, you will come up with such a feedback. Sir, everything which we discussed during the live classes, one live class per week at least, all those instructions which you gave, Everything which you tested in the mock exam, sir, everything was there in the paper. So trust me on that. On 4th March 2024, you will have no surprise whatsoever. But I cannot create that miracle. We can create this. We can create this success story by mutual cooperation. So for the next 80 to 85 days, I expect you to pin the WhatsApp group. Which WhatsApp group? Whether you are in the AA Urdu WhatsApp group or if you are in the AA English WhatsApp group or even if you are part of the free AA global group, just pin that WhatsApp group so that if I am going to come up with certain instructions, if I'm going to come up with certain voice notes almost on a daily basis, yes, I'll be sending voice notes into your WhatsApp group on a daily basis. And those are not going to be, you know, hello, how are you? How's the weather? I will be guiding you certain things. I will be sharing the do's and don'ts. Okay, guys. So yesterday we had a, we had a live class about audit risk. So I just wanted to remind all of you that considering the fact we are done with the Peach Company, today is a great day to re-attempt Peach Company and share it with me. You know, these kinds of voice notes would be there in your WhatsApp group for the next 80 to 85 days. So there are a couple of options. Just mute the goddamn WhatsApp group for the 80 days. Otherwise, give respect to the WhatsApp group. Give respect to the to my voice note. And eventually after 80 to 85 days, you can, you know, delete the WhatsApp group and you, you can even block my number if you want to. Because you'll be done with AA. Man, I'll be looking forward to seeing you in AAA. So for a year or so, you can... You can, you can, you know, forget about everything relevant to audit. So I just want you to realize double A is the most, most, 
मोस्ट इजियर स्किल लेवल पेपर इट इज इजियर एज कंपेयर टू एफ टू एग्जाम द मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटिंग एफ एम ए और एम ए इट इज इजियर एज कंपेयर टू एफ एफ बी टी इट इज इजियर एज कंपेयर टू एफ आर इट इज इजियर एज कंपेयर टू टैक्स ए सी सी ए अलाउ यू टू अटेम्प्ट डबल ए वंस यू आर डन विद योर एफ थ्री एग्जाम विच यू कॉल एफ ए एग्जाम और एफ एफ ए एग्जाम और सिंपली एफ थ्री एग्जाम so in order to flourish in double a in order to understand double a in order to you know be a master of double a it is not mandatory and it is not required to have any knowledge of fr or tax or pm or fm okay let's continue okay what about the course content considering the fact i am again and again emphasizing that double a is the most easiest dub skill level paper Triple A is the most difficult professional paper. Double A is the most easiest skill level paper. And mind you, audit is the backbone of chartered accountancy. If you are a chartered accountant, you must be comfortable and good at two things: A reporting, B auditing. So once you know how to prepare the accounts through your FR and SBR, you should be able to. Come up with a thing called audit with the help of double A and triple A. So in your entire ACCA, these four papers are actually the ninety nine percent or the backbone of the entire qualification. FR, double A, SBR, and triple A. Double A is the most easiest skill level paper, or with I would say it's the most easiest ACCA paper. But at the same time, triple A is the most challenging paper. In order to have good triple A. in order to enjoy triple a your double a has to be strong so there are seven areas with respect to your course and let's start with the first area the first area is about ethics and acceptance so what do you think are you guys going to accept each and every audit client imagine yourself as kpmg imagine you yourself as pwc imagine yourself as a small and medium sized audit firm so are you going to accept each and every client no there are acceptance consideration we have to evaluate are we going to accept the client or not similarly we have to take care of the ethical values as well so you must be familiar with a mnemonic which i normally use i cop integrity confidentiality objectivity professional competence and due care professional behavior so even if you are a qualified chartered accountant still there is a thing called acca's code of ethics and conduct so ethical issues are very very important so this is going to be the first topic which we are going to study so this is the first topic second topic so there is a world which is called corporate world so there are companies and with respect to that corporate world we need a system and that system is called corporate governance so we need governance we need rules and regulations okay so there has to be at least 50% non executive directors there has to be someone who is not the ceo of the company as being the chairman of the company so there has to be two separate individuals for the role of chairman and ceo no one individual can have both roles so there has to be a committee called remuneration committee who is going to design and establish the remuneration packages for the executive directors so corporate governance is a topic which will guide you about certain rules and regulations with respect to the corporate world number third topic is called internal audit this entire double a syllabus is about external audit except for one little chapter so yes internal audit is a support system it operates within the organization most of the time they are the employees of the company but yes internal audit can be outsourced to a third party to us to a, to a, to an audit firm as well so that's going to be the third topic what are the advantages of outsourcing internal audit what are the disadvantages of outsourcing internal audit what is the difference between external audit and internal audit fourth topic when we are going to accept an audit client imagine yourself as an audit firm if you are going to accept an audit client 
Well, when you are going to start the audit, first of all, you have to assess the risk. Now, what do I mean by risk? As a Formula One car racer, as a driver, I am facing a risk of failure. I am facing a risk of accident. If I am going on paragliding, I am facing a risk of injury. If I am someone who deals with wild animals, I am facing a risk of, you know, an animal going wild. Similarly, in the world of auditing, as an auditor, I am facing a risk and that risk is called audit risk. Audit risk means auditor does not wish to express incorrect audit opinion. As an auditor, you will be hired so that you could express opinion about the financial statements. So there is a thing called agency relationship. The owners of the company, also known as the members of the company, also known as the shareholders of the company, they are the one who have invested the money, but they don't have the skills to run the company. So they have hired an agent called management of the company, but they've got trust issues and the management have abused the principal, the shareholder, quite a lot of time. So the principal, the shareholders have hired another agent called auditor. Now the auditor has to express an opinion on the financial statements, whether the financial statements prepared by the management are reflecting a true and fair view or not. So what if that opinion expressed by the auditor is not correct? This risk is called audit risk and it is going to be the fourth topic. The fifth topic is once I will assess the risk, I have to evaluate the control system design and implemented by the management. Who am I? I'm the auditor. So I will evaluate the control systems designed and implemented by the management. And I will evaluate whether those controls are operating effectively or not. So imagine a company's payroll system. What do you think? That company could possibly have gross employees? Yes or no? What do you think? Imagine a company and imagine their payroll system. Is there any possibility that that company could have gross employees, fictitious employees? Yes. Is there any possibility that the employee would be getting paid for hours which they didn't work? Yes, it's a possibility. As an auditor, I have to evaluate whether the control systems designed and implemented by the management are operating effectively or not. Because if the control systems are not effectively operating, if they're not operating effectively, as a result of that, financial statements would have a lot more material misstatements. So that's going to be the topic number five. What about the topic number six, the backbone of AA, which I will make you understand. We are not just going to wrote learn them, wrote learn them. It's called substantive procedure. So as an auditor, I will apply certain actions in order to confirm whether the financial statements are reflecting a true and fair view or not. So substantive procedure will have three things, an action planned and executed by the auditor, certain source of evidence from where the audit evidence would be generated, and why am I doing all that? So the assertion which I need to confirm. So it will have three things procedure, source of evidence, and certain assertion or the reason behind the procedure. The substantive procedure, it is going to be the second last topic, last but surely not the least. Once I'm done with the audit, I have to overall complete the process. I have to come up with a review. I have to review things. And finally, 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 I have to report my findings to the public the addressee would be the shareholders or the members of the company, and it's called audit report. Completion, review, and reporting. This is going to be the seventh and the final topic. So guys, please keep this in mind. We have got seven topics, but those seven topics could be divided into two categories. The minor topics, which would make up around 40% of your total marks out of 100, and the major topics, 
which would make somewhere around 60 to 65 percent of your total marks are we clear what about the exam format well there are two sections unlike section unlike fr unlike tax unlike pm unlike fm there are two sections section a and section b now this is one of the reason why double a double a has got a high failure rate because the exam format is a challenging one double a itself is the easiest paper trust me on that but yes i agree exam format is a challenging one in the section a the examiner will provide you with three otqs each and every otq will have five questions so it means five twos are 10 per question followed by another five twos are 10 followed by another five twos are 10 so that means section a will have 30 marks now if you are wondering from where you are going to get those three otqs well any area of the syllabus could be tested in section a what about section b in the section b there will be three crqs the first CRQ will have 30 marks. The second and the third CRQ will have 20 marks each. Definitely, there are going to be sub exam requirements within that first, second, and third CRQ. Now, the breaking news is those three CRQs will mainly focus the three major areas that is risk, control, and procedure. But within those three CRQs, there will be flavors of minor topics as well. So if you want to fail the paper, don't give enough respect to minor topics. If you want to pass the paper, which I'm sure you want to, I want the same, well, pay equal respect to the major and the minor topics. Don't ignore the importance of minor topics. So those who have joined it from the very beginning, well, I told you that FR, tax, FM, SBR, SBL, all are sitting comfortably over and above the 50% benchmark. So the global pass rates are over and above 50% for all those papers. But AA is somewhere around 40%. But why? Guys, please keep that thing in mind that according to me, and I'm saying it with all the confidence and integrity of this world, that AA is the easiest paper. And on 4th March 2024, you will say everything which we studied and we practiced came up in the exam. No surprise. But you have to follow my instructions. Why students fail in AA? Well, one of the possible reasons behind the double A failure is what if somebody scored 48 by just attempting 80 mark paper? What if somebody scored 49 or 47 and he or she missed 20, 22, 15 mark paper? What do you think about that? What do you say about that? Well, as a tutor, I'm definitely going to ask him or her why you attempted 80 mark paper? Why not full 100 mark paper? The student would probably come up with a, with a narrative or with a statement that I couldn't finish the paper. I knew everything. I knew everything. If I were, if I were given an, oppor an opportunity for an extra 15 to 20 minutes, I would have nailed the remaining 15 to 20 mark paper as well. Now the question is, why you did not attempt the full paper the reason is poor typing speed now this is a huge problem poor typing speed but guess what let me tell you the solution as well the solution is for the next 15 days next 15 days invest one hour to two hours per day one hour to two hours per day on a daily basis on you know, on a thing called typing.com. So till the new year, you got to type for one to two hour on a daily basis on typing.com and automatically, not only you will be able to finish the double A paper within the, you know, allotted time or, you know, allocated time, you will be able to finish the triple A paper as well. 
second reason behind the high failure if you have understood a particular question with, from me maybe that's a question on ethics maybe it's a question on you know auditors if you are done with a particular question okay good for you i assume you are so well done with respect to that question that you are in a position to teach that question okay that's great wonderful don't consider yourself as exam prepared and you will be unfortunately you will be among the failures if you are not going to practice that question and when i say practice it does not mean reading the question and reading the solution it means exam practice and when i say exam practice you have to open up the acca's practice platform and you have to type the same answer maybe with the help of solution on the acca's practice platform once you will type the answer on the acca's practice platform now you are ready for the final exam now you can claim that i am prepared for this question and i am prepared for that question the question which you did not prepared using the acca's practice platform don't consider yourself prepared for that so the second reason behind the failure high failure lack of exam practice what is the solution well the solution is acca's practice platform third reason behind such a high failure okay so greater majority of the failures who fail the paper somewhere around 46 47 48% whenever i look up to their my exam performance report which is now available to every student through the my acca the students typically fail the double a section a somewhere around 8 to 12 never exceed 15 Eight, eight is a very common number. Ten, I would say fifty percent of the failures would be somewhere around eight. Another thirty to forty percent would be around twelve. Another ten to fifteen percent would be somewhere around fourteen. Hardly five percent of the failures could pass the section A. So, guys, don't underestimate the importance of section A. If a student is preparing himself or herself for tax exam, FM exam, PM exam. everyone is crazy about section a and section b everyone wants to score 40 or more out of 60 in section a and b combined but i don't know what happens when it they when they approach double a in double a everyone wants to score 50 out of 70 in section b and everyone is ignoring section a well most certainly we are not going to ignore section a at with e we have recorded the entire section a questions so we are not going to you know make you ignore the section a section a is really important and when i teach section a i will tell you what does the question say what does that mean what changes could be made by the examiner how the other way around could be could the examiner you know ask this question and then more importantly i will tell you why option number 1 is not correct why option number 2 is correct what changes could be made in option c and that could be correct or that could be incorrect so we have to explore and discuss each and every option in order to nail the section a imagine you have scored 24 out of 30 in section a 24 out of 30 in section a just imagine this number hold this thought will come back to it reason number 4 behind high failure rate well scoring nothing or below average in knowledge based question so in your section b which is for 70 marks approximately 15 mark paper 15 mark paper has got nothing to do with the question paper itself and we call them straight forward bookish knowledge question so for example in the last attempt you you know hardly a week ago examiner asked what is the difference between external audit and internal audit examiner asked that you know explain the relationship between materiality and performance materiality so uh, examiner asked ex explain audit risk and the components of audit risk so these are what we call the straight forward bookish knowledge so what about the failures the failures would score 2 3 4 marks out of 15 in bookish knowledge now imagine yourself as scoring 12 out of 15 i will give you straight forward bookish knowledge notes so that once you have understood those notes you can learn them as well 
but i would encourage all of you to prepare your own straight forward bookish knowledge notes how to prepare your own notes well during the lectures you will understand how to prepare your own straight forward bookish knowledge note now imagine if you have scored 12 out of 15 in the straight forward bookish knowledge 12 out of 15 and how much you scored in section a 24 out of 30 so how many marks you have obtained so far so you have obtained 24 in section a out of 30 let's assume that and you have scored another 12 out of 15 in straight forward bookish knowledge okay so your total score as we speak is 24 plus 12 36 and you have hardly attempted 45 mark paper and in order to clear this paper well i would say in order to pass this paper now you just need another 14 out of 55 so 14 out of 55 is it going to be a mission impossible or is it going to be a walk in the park is it going to be a walk in the park or is it going to be a mission impossible well i am super dead sure that it is going to be a walk in the park 14 out of 55 is no big deal if you truly want to understand what i'm trying to say and what i'm trying to preach over here imagine the other way around story imagine you scored 8 out of 30 in section a which is a typical score and imagine you scored 3 out of 15 in section b bookish knowledge okay so your score is 11 out of 45 now you need approximately 39 or let's make it 40 let's say 40 40 out of 55 is it going to be walk in the park or is it going to be mission impossible absolutely true now the question number 2 now what about this situation if you have scored 11 out of 45 you know what your energy your morale your vibe during the exam it is going to be a chaos you will be in a miserable position after this and this and trust me as this is approximately 1 hour of your paper so this 1 hour is done and dusted and you are somewhere at 11 you have already you will already have doubts on your exam preparation you will have all the negative vibes of the world and you will not be able to score 45 out of 55 rather you will end up somewhere at 25 out of 55 and the overall score is 40 or somewhere around 40 even if you are going to be great you might end up scoring 35 out of 55 still mm -hmm. you are not going to make it mm -hmm. so it's yeah. really So it's really, really, really important to realize the importance of section A and the bookish knowledge. These two things are my responsibility. I will provide notes for these. I have covered lectures for these, but still, I need your cooperation. Excuse okay, me, let's. Yes, please. सर जी वीकली क्लासें होगी उधर तो जो टाइम टेबल है ना वो दिया है पोर्टल पे उस पे तो नौ फरवरी तक जो है ना सारा सिलेबस कवर हो जाता है तो वही शेड्यूल हम रखें तो ये तो बड़ी जल्दी सिलेबस कवर हो जाएगा तो फिर भी एन बड़ी अच्छी हो जाएगी ओके सो योर गुड नेम इज बाबर राइट यस बाबर अली ओके बाबर ओके बाबर अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्लानर या वी आर सपोज्ड टू फिनिश थिंग्स ऑफ और फिनिश द एंटायर सिलेबस समवेयर अराउंड ऑन 10th और 9th 10th फरवरी बट यू नो नेचुरली स्पीकिंग especially being pakistani i have this thing in mind that at least one week or four to five days margin has to be there so if the planner document says that we will be done till 9th okay in worst come scenario will be done till 14th or 15th so let me tell you now somewhere around 16 or 17 we will have the grand revision or the webinars and somewhere around on 22nd or 23rd obviously these are tentative date plus minus 
one day or two, we will have the final, final what? Mock exam. I will personally mark each and every script, each and every page, each and every line. So, yes, you are right. If we will be done somewhere around 10th to 15th, or let it be the 14th February, we can have, you know, good solid webinars on 16th, 17th of February, followed by the final mock exam on 22nd and 23rd February. Absolutely. Gold. No doubt about it. And yes, we will have one weekly live class. Yes. I will share the schedule. Don't worry. Okay. Give me a minute, please. Okay. Another reason behind the double A failure is what we call exam technique issue. Exam technique is something which has got to do with the major area. So, it, you know, it, this is this is something you don't have to worry. I will teach you. I will food feed you. I will guide you through one pass paper question, followed by second, followed by third, followed by fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So one dozen audit risk question and your technique will be top notch. Then we'll move to the second major topic, internal controls. We'll start practicing with the exam technique question number one, followed by two, three, four, five one dozen questions on internal control systems and automatically your exam technique will be you know super awesome and with the same energy in fact with more energy we will explore the final well the major topic number three substantive procedure and we will solve and we'll understand well and we will practice more than a dozen questions on substantive procedures so the exam technique with respect to the three major areas it is my responsibility you just have to follow my instructions. We are not going to ignore the minor areas during the preparation. I know many students around the globe, they are decently well prepared for risk controls and procedures, but they end up failing at 48, 49 because they know nothing about ethics. They know nothing about corporate governance. They know nothing about internal audit. So we are not going to ignore the minor topic. In fact, we are going to start the lectures and we are going to have the first weekly live class on the minor topic ethics and corporate governance. Yes, you heard me right. The first weekly live class would be on the first two minor topics, that is ethics and corporate governance. Last reason behind the AA failure is, if you are attempting AA exam, 70 mark paper out of 100 is a subjective one, and you need an expert tutor to mark your mock exam. So, for example, let's talk about tax paper. Section A, you can self-mark it because the software marks it when it comes to ACC examination. Section B, again, you can self-mark it. And for section C, the CRQs, majority of the CRQs are numerical based. So you can figure it out whether your calculation was correct or not. But for, for double A, the section B, the CRQs are all theoretical. There is no number crunching. There is no spreadsheet. So you need some expert tutor to mark your mock exam. So in order to avoid the double A failure, make sure your final mock exam is marked. And I will personally mark your mock exam, especially those who are going to attempt the assignment on a weekly basis and on a timely basis. So if you are going to attempt all the assignments, which we are going to assign you on a weekly basis, well, I will personally mark your mock exam. And when I will mark your mock exam, with, you know, you will have, with the God's will, you will have a jump of 10 to 15 marks in your final exam. So what is my plan for my Wifian with respect to double A? Well, we will start the lectures with ethics, corporate governance, and internal audit, the first three minor topics. Once we are done with the concept of these three minor topics, once we are done with the straightforward bookish knowledge of these three minor topics, we will move towards the questions relevant to ethics, corporate governance, and internal audit. And when I say questions, when I say questions, it means both section A questions, and section B questions. 
both. Once we are done with the first three minor topics, one, two, three, ethics, corporate governance, and internal audit, we will move towards what? We will move towards the topic number four, which is called risk. So that's going to be the topic number four, risk. Once we are done with the risk, the bookish college, the section A, the CRQs will move towards the control system, the topic number five. Similarly, topic number six, substantive procedures and the questions relevant to it, last but surely not the least, will move towards the seventh and the final topic, review and reporting. And again, the questions relevant to it. When I say questions, it means both the section A and section B. Once we are done with the entire syllabus, we will have the final mock exam. They will, there will be two mock exams. So this is my plan. This should be your plan. I will share a detailed planner document in your relevant WhatsApp group uh, in both the AA English and the AA Hindi Urdu WhatsApp groups. Okay, give me a minute, please. Okay, so if you want to have a winning day on 4th March 2024, well, there are few critical success factors. Number one critical success factor, you got to contact Wifi. You got to contact the Wifi's admission department. You got to enroll yourself. Once you will enroll, you have to join the relevant WhatsApp group. They will share the, you know, the QR code or they will guide you how to join the WhatsApp group. Within the WhatsApp group, you will have access to what? The planner document. It's a, it's a document which Babar just referred. And with the help of that document, hopefully we will be able to finish off everything somewhere around 10th to 14th of February. So the planner document is one of the most critical success factors and it is very important. Over the period of next 60 days, over the period of next 60 days, I will give you at least six assignments. And all those assignments would be marked. So if you want to enjoy the final mock exam, these six assignments would have a direct impact on the final mock exam. And the final mock exam will have a direct impact on you, what you do on 4th March 2024. So yes, Give importance to the six, at least six assignments. We will have at least six live classes, one live class per week. So I would be so happy if you are going to attend that live class as a live class with great energy. You have to follow the course, the deadlines available in your planner document. You have to be aggressive. We will have revision at the end of the session in the form of webinars. Yes, your mock exams would be marked. Yes, after when once I will mark all your mock exams, I will share a detailed report in your relevant WhatsApp group or on the WIFI's portal. And then we will have the mock debrief. I will guide you what were the common mistakes, what things you need to avoid. Join the WhatsApp group if you are already part of the WIFI. Even if you do not wish to join WIFI for the March 2024 attempt, you are more than welcome to join the free global WhatsApp group. The link of the free global WhatsApp group link. Wait, let me share the link of the free WhatsApp group link. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, absolutely. It is usually there in the YouTube description once these orientations are uploaded on the YouTube. So anyone out there who's wondering how to join the AA Global Free WhatsApp group, well, first of all, I've shared the link in the chat box. And more importantly, yes, thank you, Moz. Uh, more, more, uh, more importantly, once this video is available on YouTube, within the description, they will have the link to the free WhatsApp group as well. Wonderful. So these were the critical success factors. Now, well, the great news is for the last couple of sessions, I've got both the AA English batch and the AA Hindi Urdu batch. Just like the AAA, we have got both languages. There will be same assignments for, the, for both batches, same mock exam, same notes, same level of WhatsApp support. I will be a pain for you on the WhatsApp. 
normally tutors are going to complain that students are a pain no i am going to be a pain i will remind you on a daily basis that this should be done tonight this should be your target for tomorrow this should be your you have to make the best use of the weekend so i'll be there you have to tolerate me for the next 80 days same number of live classes for urdu and hindi uh, english language batches same past paper questions nothing is different whatsoever except for the fact that there is going to be different whatsapp group yes but the tutor is saying me so this was important you know it was it is important to highlight this okay anything else yes before i you know almost finish off today's session let me tell you this is something which i truly believe and with the help of this ideology i am able to create such success stories in double a for example if i have got a batch of 18 16 students will be able to pass yes but how only by following these you know this idea so there are three perspectives of double a section a otqs section b the straight forward bookish knowledge and section well not section perspective number 3 or the perspective number 3 is the crqs but the application based questions now imagine if you scored 8 out of 30 maybe 3 out of 15 definitely even if you are part of the avenger team if you are the you know from the family of albert einstein till you will not be able to create a miracle out of c and at the end of the day you will fail the paper on the contrary if we are going to you know give importance to section a and if we are going to score 20 to 24 in section a or let's talk about 20 okay let's not say 12 out of 15 let's say 10 out of 15 i'm 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 being prudent right now i'm not being overly optimistic yeah so what what's that 20 plus 10 30 so you have scored 30 out of 45 initially i was looking for 36 out of 45 remember but 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 forget that till you will be you will be able to score 20 out of 55 it is very much doable all over the world the tutors and the students are preparing themselves for this part of the double a 20 out of 55 30 out of 55 some tutors and some students are trying to score 50 out of 55 some students are trying to score 40 out of 55 what i want is well i want 40 out of 55 i want 50 out of 55 but before that i want you to score at least 20 out of 30 in section a followed by 10 to 12 out of 15 in section b and then we will nail the paper and will go for the glory and will go for the position the prize winner at the global level is this clear am i clear with my idea for the next 80 days can i have confirmation from you are you clear what i'm up to okay guys thank you very much now before i take your leave a very very important announcement which we at wifi we always do for all the new tutors so we have got a huge company over here and the company is called mam aisha faisal now mam aisha faisal has recently joined with me and she is an acca member she is a cpa canada member she is a top notch acca tutor and she has got a teaching experience of more than 5 years in an approved learning partner as i mentioned earlier as well alp institute in india and she will be teaching both fr and sbr but in english language at wiki so we are so delighted and so happy uh, because you know she's a very well known face and she has finally joined with me and well there is another great news considering the fact this is going to be her first ever batch at wifi wifi is offering flat 30% off on her subjects strictly for this session only 
So anyone out there who is, who is interested in FR or SDR, or if you're, you know, any your friend or your colleague or your peer, someone who's interested in FR and SDR, well, uh, she has got an experience from the big four. She, she's a very good candidate and I would highly recommend her for FR and SDR, but in English language. So I wish her the best of luck. And more importantly, as of now, I wish you all the best of luck for your double A. And I'm sure together we can create a success story on 4th March 2024. So guys, thank you very much for joining in. Now, if you've got any concerns or queries, please do not hesitate to contact me now, maybe on WhatsApp or on the uh, you can use the chat box now if you've got any questions or concerns. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Ikram and Moiz, Shweb. Uh, you will see a lot more energy and enthusiasm in the live classes. Yes, it was a very hectic day. And once I was done with all the work, I had to go to the ACCA ceremony and then I had to come up with such some rash driving as well. So anyway, yes, I hope to see you all in the weekly live classes. Any other question or concern from anyone? So guys, thank you very, very much. Stay blessed. And if, if anyone out there has got any other confusion or query, you're more than welcome to contact me. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, when are classes beginning? Well, First of all, you have to contact Wifi. This is their number. You have to contact them. You have to enroll. And the planner or the lectures would start from tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow. And after a week, we will have the first weekly live class on the first two minor topics, ethics and corporate governance. So yeah, the lectures are up and running. Everything is ready. Please contact with me and join the batch. Thank you very much. Take care. Keep smiling. Bye-bye.